I'm Brendan. I'm Alex. And we're from Finnish Ticket. We're here on the Ones to Watch tour uh, in Chicago, where it's currently freezing. <laughs> it's very cold. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go check out our van right now. This is what we tour in. So um, let's take a look. So we have a, nice a lovely noise every time we go in. Every time. Every single time you open it, it doesn't matter. It just comes out and beeps at us. And sometimes it gets stuck. It's a great start to the whole thing. Yeah. It basically just keeps beeping and sometimes we have to reclose it like three times to make it stop. These are uh, the weights and we try our best to keep in shape. Uh, it doesn't always work, but uh, these are, you know, it's a quick fix. Yeah, uh, we open like, the door and we'll start just yeah, like trying. Yeah, you get out of the gas station or something. I know, you're looking at us and you don't believe it. Yeah, right? We try. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Gabe from Finish Ticket. Hey, I'm Nick. And yeah, this is our, the, uh, the cockpit, as we call it. We yeah. have this nice separation thing when the rest of the guys get really annoying we pull this and then you can't hear them anymore so that's super handy we got uh gabe is an a's fan so we've got baseball hat and our bobblehead our hello kitty a's bobblehead for you know gotta rep the hometown a little bit this is also our mobile garden up here <laughs> we have and the more functional aloe vera plant over Which there might be dying so we, apparently we need to water <laughs> it. Looks it. like it's dying. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts. Exactly. Let's see what other goodies can we find. We got snacks. Snacks yeah. for days. In case you get sleepy and need some chocolate to wake you up, we got candy. We have this really old muffin that I believe was told would be a continental breakfast, but instead they gave us a muffin. Yep. Same difference. There's a lot of people in this van, and sometimes you need to kill odor like 10 to 14 times a day. So this is helpful. Yeah, so we all share uh, driving. The, the responsibility, um, some more than others, but it's a fun vehicle to drive. It like beeps at you when you when you go over a line without your turn signal on, and it's just like too smart of a vehicle. It tells you too many things. It starts to freak you out after a while. We do we try to do it more in the day, but we end up doing a lot of night drives. Um, We're good for three or four. We listen every to uh, the Harry Potter audiobooks at night usually because we have this nice uh, auxiliary USB thing. So we. We bump some Harry Potter, keeps everyone all happy. Um, the heater works really well up here, but it does really work in the back. So if you want to stay warm, these are the spots to be in. The lifesaver of the tour, of any tour, um, and this is, I mean, it gets so, touring gets very mundane and everyone gets super tired. And the thing that keeps everyone happy is this thing right here. <laughs> um, like, TV! Well, I guess this, well, that more importantly, too. the PlayStation 4. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this TV, you know, it's everything you could ever want to cheer you up on a bad day and a long day. Uh, we can do Netflix through it, we do anything. Um, I think we even have satellite TV we haven't used yet. But, uh, but Rocket League is on the screen because this game is particularly number one for us. It's this game where you basically drive you drive a car around, uh, but it's like you're playing soccer with cars, and you can like make them jump and fly, and uh, you just add press boost and go really fast. It's amazing. And you just try to score this really big ball. I know it sounds really stupid, but it is the most fun game of all time, and it's extremely competitive. Our sound engineer, Kyle, I think is probably the best. Probably. Although Nick and Gabe are also really good. They're, they yeah. might be offended. If, uh, <laughs> yeah. Kyle's really good. Kyle's really good. Kyle's really good, though. Yeah. It's kind of an anomaly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we do four player on Rocket League, so we can always like have a bunch of people playing. And we have some gnarly tournaments that sometimes yeah. happen. We also have a, we have a league of basketball going um, on 2K16. Uh, and we've all done, we all did a fantasy draft. Uh, and I messed up. I had first I had the first pick and I, I messed up really bad. Not choose Steph Curry. <laughs> Although we're, we're undefeated, but I didn't choose Steph Curry because I figured I would just pick, start with someone else for fun and I totally just realized right away I should have gotten Steph Curry, so I messed up. I, I'm Michael and I'm the bassist. <laughs> well, I think a few of the guys have played Magic, like the, the gathering on here. Uh, oh, yeah. Our photographer is able to edit <laughs> photographs on here. Our sound guy, he did some recordings earlier and he has his computer out. Um, but besides that, it kind of just gets in the way a little bit. It takes up a what could be a perfectly good seat. Mo most nights I'll use it, especially if it's a particularly rough night for vocals. And, uh, we're doing like hour long sets every night on this tour. So um, I'll generally, every time I, I do something that will kill my voice, I'll, I'll do like 15 minutes with this. And you just basically fill it with water, turn it on, steam comes up and I have to live like this and I'm like Darth Vader for 15 minutes. <laughs> this drawer is probably our, our best one. <laughs> Uh, I think it does actually open up, but this actually happened a couple days ago, so now it we're just, just kind of avoiding we... the nails. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we got a lot of shoes in here, you know, make it so there's not shoes strewn all over the floor all the time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just makes a really nice sound, that's pretty much that. Oh, the back of the Oh yeah, system. we got the other gaming system. 
It's mostly used for Super Smash Bros, because that's also another favorite of ours. Well, this is the first time we've ever had a microwave on tour, and that's pretty revolutionary for us. Because, because we... Uh, oh, yeah. Because yeah. of that. <laughs> Which, we're really not taking full advantage no. of the amount of couple noodles we have. Well, we did start out with a lot more. Yeah, that's true. We also have a lot of, like, this is kind of like our snack basket, I guess. Um, yeah, we can walk you through some. So yeah. we have a... Uh, I don't know, it rained, oh well we have Old some fish, shirts here, course. some there was stupid. Goes one. Uh, we got, okay, we got an emergency for when people are, like right now, everyone's sick, so just chug a bunch of these. Uh, we got <laughs> less healthy, like, oh these are the, I don't know, these are like healthier versions, like, like chips, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, Gabe yeah. needs Gardettos like on a daily basis, so these are definitely his. Michael has these. I think they're molding. Oh yeah, I haven't. Those were buried for. I'm not sure. Days yeah, I think they're probably. They should. I'm sure they're molding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I tried those. Out. But uh, <laughs> and then we. Got, I don't know. Here's my my bag. I got like uh, dried fruit, pistachios. Uh, uh, I got like some trail mix stuff, just nuts and dried fruit, and then uh, plant, the plantain chips. I've been trying very hard to stay healthy. <laughs> We don't really use the fridge that much because yeah. it doesn't work when the car is not on. <laughs> so it's kind of pointless, and I think someone tried to use milk once and just keep milk in here, and it went. It was terrible. Waters, beers, sodas, everything just goes in here, but nothing that actually needs to keep the yeah, fridge. So we have this printer is amazing, and it's you know it feels almost like a miniature bus. Um, but the only downside to it is just that there's five bunks and generally eight people, sometimes up to ten in here, especially if our manager's in town. Or, so we have a tour manager, lighting, and a photographer, and the band. So I guess generally, we actually have nine all the time. So it's nine people and five bunks. Uh, there's been overnight drives where pretty much you have two up front, you have the rest sleeping, and whoever can fit anywhere on these benches, they'll try to sleep. These are really nice though. Generally, it keeps us well rested. Um, this tour especially has had crazy routing. It's been um, uh, really tough. So uh, generally people are always in the bunks. So that leaves a little more room throughout the sprinter. But there are at least one or two hours every single day on a drive where everyone's up and everyone's up in that room and they're just like cramped. And everyone, some people are just standing and we're just hanging out playing video games. It's like, it, that gets pretty, pretty annoying. It's, it's pretty, these are free for all. Um, which creates a lot of stink. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, it definitely gets, it, you definitely find yourself in a bunk sometimes and you're wondering who was there before you because it smells terrible. So, thank you guys for checking out our Sprinter. Uh, we hope to see you on the road sometime. Um, we have a new EP out, One Night Becomes Day, and a new single, Color. So, be on the lookout for those. Check it out on Spotify, finishticket.com, anything like that. Yeah, so. come see us on the road. Yeah, thank you. See ya.